The Honourable Member for Sturgeon River Parkland. Mr. Speaker, during the April 28th meeting with the RCMP Commissioner and Superintendent Campbell, handwritten notes state that the Commissioner promised to release information about an active criminal investigation to support a pending announcement on gun control. Now, the Minister of Emergency Preparedness has been standing in this House saying that there was no interference, but the Prime Minister just said there was no undue interference. The story is changing. The Commissioner was working with the government to advance their political agenda. Does the the minister deny it. Before, before, before we go on to the answer, two things. I want everyone to respect each other. And when we are making statements in the House, please be very judicious on the words you use. Uh, accusing someone of being, I'm hearing names from one side and other uh, absolute uh, terms from the other. I just want to remind everyone to be judicious. We want to leave on a nice note before we go to summer. So, the Honourable Minister. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And, and perhaps it will be helpful if I read the entire statement of the RCMP Commissioner issued Tuesday. Mr. Speaker, the Commissioner writes, it's important to note that the sharing of information and briefings with the Minister of Public Safety are a necessary action, particularly during the mass shooting on Canadian soil. This is standard procedure, and it does not impact the integrity of ongoing investigations or interfere with the independence of the RCMP. And she concludes, Mr. Speaker, by stating, I take the principle of police independence extremely seriously. It has been and will continue to be fully respected in all interactions. Mr. Speaker, there was no interference. No, no.